Chapter 2, Lesson 7, Confused Hair. Procedure with Parameters. Learning Target. I can create and use parameters in a procedure for confused hair animation. For this animation, I've given you two versions of the animation. This is the simple version in here. Now let's watch this animation again and let's see what it's doing. When we look at this animation, let's understand the story in here. So in a story, there's a beginning. The beginning is where the hare goes to the first jungle plant. And then he's doing sequence of hops. And these jungle plants are in zigzag pattern. So he thinks that he has to hop in the same pattern. So he turns left, hops to the second jungle plant turns right, hop to the next jungle plant, turns left, hops to the next jungle plant, and then he hops and goes away. So going away is your end. Now you can do the same animation in another version. This is my second version. The story is again same. The beginning of the animation where the hare and the white rabbit is going towards the first jungle plant. And then we have a series of hops that will make them hop to each plant. And then at the end we have an end procedure where both of them go away. Now remember we are going to use the four step process to solve this animation. Step 1. Understand the problem. When we talk about understanding the problem, we need to identify the objects, the characters or the props needed in the scene. Now this world is given to you already. So you know that we have four jungle plants, we have a hair, and you can add any biped object of your choice. The second thing is we need to identify the actions. And when we saw the animation, we know that the head is moving towards the jungle plant. We know that head is moving up. We know that it's moving down, moving forward. Now we'll take a look at step two, design. Design a solution. We're going to set up the scene. Now the scene is given to you. All you have to do is create a storyboard by doing a stepwise refinement. So when you do a stepwise refinement, make sure you have the beginning of the story. The beginning of the story is basically where the hair is going towards the first jungle plant. Then you'll create a hop procedure with parameters and you would make the hair hop. And the last one is you will create an end where the hair goes away from the scene. Step 3, we are going to implement the design. We are going to create three procedures. We would create procedure begin. That would be a super class scene procedure. We would create a hop procedure with some parameters and that would be in a biped superclass and the end is going to be a scene procedure. Now you're going to call the procedures in my first method to make this animation happen and don't forget to do incremental development as you're writing the procedures. Step 3 implement code. You will create three procedures begin, hop with parameters and end. When you create your procedures, you would create two scene procedures, begin and end. And then you would create another biped procedure that would be hop. Now your hop procedure would have parameters. You're making your hop to turn to a certain direction. You're making hop to go certain height, how high to go. And if you want, you could also have your hop to say how far to go. Now do not forget to add comments at the beginning of each procedure describing the action for each procedure. Also do not forget to add comments at the beginning of my first method. Student name, chapter 2, lesson 7, confused hair and then date. Step 4, test. Call procedures. 
you would call procedures in my first method. And if you did a simple version of this animation, your programs should look something like this. Your, my first method should look something like this. You would have the beginning, that's the beginning of the story, and then you would have a series of hop statements, and then you would have end. Now your hop procedure will have parameters, which direction, how far, how much. Now you don't have to have exactly same parameters like, like I have used. You can have your own parameters. Now if you did the advanced version, you will still have the beginning, you will have an end, and in between you will have some hop statements. And in my hop procedure, I have created parameters here, which way, how high. Step 4, test call procedures. You would call your procedures in my first method in the correct sequence. So in order to do that, the first step you have to do is select my first method tab. The second step you would do is select scene or object in the instance menu because we have our begin and end in a scene and then we have a hop in a head. So select either the scene or the object. Step 3, drag the procedures into my first method in the editor. So you would drag and drop it into the editor area. And the last step is click on run to test to see if your program works correctly or not. Now once you're done completing your animation, make sure you check your requirements. Don't forget to add your name in the file name. Don't forget to add your comments. Turn in your chapter 2, lesson 7, Confused Hair, Alice Program for a Grade.